Well, hello there, guys. Back again on the experiments. Uh, right here, I have this device which I replicated. I saw some devices at on um, Laser Saber's uh, channel, and um, I thought to give it a try, and um, it. It gives some awesome result, but using a very very different transformer, using um, a ferrite <clears throat> and two sets of coils. It uses a transistor. It uses two LEDs. It uses a uh, 10 volt 470 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. And the very important part is that germanium diode, which you see right here. Positive and negative, our Duracell battery. The two lines are uh, isolated from each other. High permeability, um, ferrite piece. At first, I thought it won't work. I thought it was a fake, but um, at this really impressed me I should be I could focus on this more also um, gives me an idea how the Akula devices work maybe with a set of two more transistors like this coupled on each other oh well let me show you guys <clears throat> so there's nothing there's no, there are no exciters around. I can assure you that. See, uh, this is just a stainless steel. There's nothing, absolutely nothing. No harnessing power. I'm barefoot. Um, now what I do is simply tap the 9 volt battery. As you can see, it gave a uh, small blip but there it gives nothing more and what I have to do is this this wire acts like a sort of a ground so what I do is simply hold it down like this and the negative I tap it on the positive rail and the LEDs turn on doesn't matter which side but I think the positive side turns it more brighter if I use the positive of the battery it really doesn't want to turn on see it's, it's weird so only with the negative it turns on see? I'm just gonna hold it up Just like that, and this runs for like one hour, two hours, straight like this. But uh, it didn't die on me. I killed it. <laughs> Just um, short circuiting the, the the leads. I have to rerun it. Uh, Build a circuit like maybe two days ago, so uh, it's it's quite new for me. But um, as you can see, they're fairly bright, and um, <clears throat> let's see how they work. Now, that's one method how it turns on. Um, this circuit is funny because now without a battery, look. That's crazy, right? Even with your hand. But then I thought maybe not using my hands and um, I saw what Lee Saber did with his one. Uh, he used a capacitor like a like an air capacitor type, you know, one that um, suffers like this. So then I thought maybe using the capacitor 
one side. All right, let's kill the circuit. As you can see, doesn't turn on anymore. The negative, see? Because I short circuit, I killed the capacitor where there's no oscillation anymore. Okay, now a uh, this clip belongs to that side. And this clip goes on the positive rail. So they're actually not touching here, right? So what I have to do right now is just tap and there we go. And this, this is what I'm telling you. This runs for hours. I'm pretty sure of it, or maybe infinite. I don't know what's happening here. I still have to check out how long this works or if it's practically free energy or something. This is just amazing. See, it um, gives a bit more juice when I connect the negative. See? Mm. And uh, if I touch the capacitor with my thumb, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it brights up the, the LEDs. That's sick, man. That's very sick. But as you can see, it, it doesn't matter anymore how much I, I put. It stays on the same level of uh, output. So, there you have it, guys. It's um, simple. It's it's good. See it. The, what the fuck? This also makes it amplify. Oh well. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let's uh, connect it. Connect it back. See, it, it still runs. And this is this is weird now there has many ways how it works so uh anyway <laughs> <clears throat> well, one more thing guys this is partial of the schematic oh, crap. Yeah. so a capacitor transistor the coil system some return or it's being pulsed from the gate and uh, to the um, LEDs and where this darkness is that is where it should not be connected it should be connected from here till there with a germanium if you guys want to try it out so uh, have fun oh by the way my um about the the ground system the ground dependent device which you guys were familiar with has a spark gap and a spark gap down the light for in order to to turn it on the solar wire capacitor the ground which needs to be connected be to make it work this is actually a ground but um, this is a plate <sighs> we're only feeding it like 12 but what if we feed it like something like this I would feed it like 120 volts DC and uh, produce this much see <coughs> so instead of using this method I thought adding like a capanazzi style amplification coil onto it via the spark gap I thought of like trying something this up uh, still have to try it out <coughs> and another spark gap here and here by fire and light and then we'll see what will happen so uh, give thoughts let's see how this works all right Layers. Hope you guys enjoyed and um, the amazing circuit. <laughs>